Michigan played a pretty clean game, six turnovers. On the season, they've been a very good team taking care of the ball. That hasn't been one of their issues. They've got many issues, but tonight I thought they got an A performance from Hunter Dickinson, an A performance from Kobe Bufkin. That's where you would start if you were going to try to pull an upset against the number one team in the country. Uh, Jim, what do you think? Was this just a, a don't have Jet Howard, don't have enough horses to get this done game? Yeah, I kind of think so. Um, I, I think they would have been right in it. I mean, they they hung around for a while without him, and he's uh, a huge offensive weapon for them. Spaces the floor has been, I think, even better than people thought entering the year. So not having him kind of hurt. Uh, I want to do a quick ode to my guy, Ethan Morton. I think he's really emerged as a key piece for Purdue. I started to love watching him play kind of a smart ball mover, great defender. And when he hits shots, like he hit a couple tonight, he becomes invaluable for them. Gives them a little more size, that playmaking position. Uh, not quite Shasta Stefanovic, but um, he, he is a nice little piece for them. And uh, given the defensive contributions, like he, he's one of the best like fast break defenders. He knows how to play straight up. He'll get his hands in there. He won't foul. He had a couple of those tonight where he saved them on, on fast break. Uh, so a little little ode to Morton. Pat, I'll, I'll let you take it on, on whether you think Jet Howard would have totally swung the outcome on this, but uh, just wanted well, to shout him out. Well, I think this his score was 26-28. I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with the, the, the kill shot. Purdue goes on a 15-0 run right at that point. It was 41. It was 26 to 28. Then it went 41 uh, to 28. And I think that really is the highlight of what just and if for fans that don't know a kill shot with what I learned from Todd Golden uh, is uh, a 10-0 run. You want to strive to 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 get a 10-0 run. I, I don't know the analytics behind it, but there is some great power behind that. Stopping 10-0 runs and producing your very own. And when you can have a 15-0 run and then to start the second half with a quick 5-0 run, um, Michigan just didn't have anything to stop the bleeding there. Turnovers weren't a huge problem, but just in that 15-0 run, I think there were three or four um, that just – really puts you in a, at a deficit it's hard to come back when you're you know you have barely have enough time left to find flow um hunter hunter this would have been one of those games that i think hunter would have had to go for for 30 jet howard definitely would have helped break that 15 0 run and made this game but still a five point loss without your your best score hunter played really well uh wasn't the most efficient um had some some bunnies around the basket, uh, but he, I mean, I, I I was really proud. I mean, if you don't know him, but proud the way that he he played against Zach Eady, even though uh, Eady still made him look like a child at some possessions. Uh, but yeah, I, that's that's just the thing that I, that stands out to me. I'm like, dang, 15 0 run, that's really hard to come back from in the middle uh, middle of a game, especially at home. You know what Hunter would have needed to do tonight, in my opinion what Trace Jackson Davis has done for about the last two weeks. I mean, I, 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 it's not saying anyone should expect him to do that because that's how good Trace has been. But you need like an extraterrestrial performance yeah. given the state of this Michigan roster. And I, I don't mean to throw shots at anybody, but you lost Jalen Llewellyn, uh, your grad transfer point guard you expect to start all year. You've got a true freshman in Doug McDaniel back there now who can be great in moments, can be really, really sporadic and bad in other moments. Uh, you've got Joey Baker, who's never had to play this big of a role is what he needed to do tonight. And he hit a bunch of threes late to end up approaching a five point game, but it was too little too late. And then you've got a bunch of guys who don't belong in a playing rotation or weren't in Michigan yet, playing yeah. rotation until guys got hurt. So you're looking at your superstar, who needs to go out and probably more than what you said, Pat, Pat, he probably needed like 35 and 20 tonight to keep this it was close right there. It was just a bunch yeah. just didn't fall for him. He had great, right. a lot of in and outs, man. I mean, it's right. It's know, and that's basketball. And uh, basketball. The, the one thing I would say on Purdue, and then we'll move to UCLA and USC here. The thing that astounds me about them is how much guys are okay with watching Zach Eady and watching the the integral guys eat in this offense. Like mm -hmm. Caleb first tonight had one point and one rebound and the guy affected the basketball game in a positive way. I don't know how many guys in college basketball can do that. 
Uh, and they, they're just a really unselfish team. They're a team that just wants to win the damn game. Uh, yeah. And, you know, they, they will never complain about how many times they're just going to throw the ball into the best player in the country. They're just going right. to keep getting him the rock. It's really special. And I give Matt Painter a bunch of credit for doing it.